I am at the Simon Newcomb Monument in Wallace Bridge. It's about 20 minutes before sunset. Uh, this monument was put here in 1935, 100 years after Simon Newcomb's birth. He was actually born on this spot. His father was a teacher who traveled from place to place. He didn't stay in any one place for very long. Um, Newcomb wasn't much for organized education. He was a school dropout or runaway. He was an apprentice to a herbalist and he didn't like that for very long. So he ended up reuniting with his family and they ended up in Maryland where he uh, became a teacher, professor, uh, ended up being a rear admiral in the, in the U.S. Navy. Um, his achievements included pinning down uh, the exact speed of light. He used tests to prove As that. As you can see, the site that the monument sets on is pretty small. And for a long time, that's all um, there was. The last year or so, the local museum, the Wallace Area Museum, has purchased this property surrounding the monument. And uh, we're going to expand it into a park. Some of the work's already been done. Walkways, parking lot, they just seeded here last week. Local volunteers. Uh, right here is where my next big project will be going. It will be a monument to commemorate Willard Boyle. Who, although not born here, this was his chosen summer home. Willard Boyle was awarded the Nobel Prize back in 2009 for his developments in physics. And the CCD, which you may or may not have heard of, and that is in your cell phone, this camera, telescopes, just about everything you can imagine that has a digital eye in it. Uh, the monument will be here and it will be unveiled on the 26th of July. Uh, I don't know how many people will be here, but I will obviously be here and uh, I will definitely post more videos and pictures after it is up.